Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to insert two or more columns in your form. This is useful if you want to have a more compact form. So follow me to my desktop right now. All right, so here we have a form that we have some fields already added, but we haven't added any columns. So how do we do this? We have two ways of doing this. The first is by using the properties inside of each of these elements. So for example, if I click on the name element, I'll go into properties. I'll go into advanced. If we scroll down, we'll see this option that says shrink. Let's click on shrink and you'll automatically see that it just shrunk to half of the form that we have available right now. Now, what happens if we shrink another element? Let's go into department. Again, we see the whole field available right here. If we go to properties, advance, go down, shrink, and it just took it up to the next available spot. So now we have two rows available. We have two elements in the same row. Now we can do this with other elements again. Let's go into advance, let's go into shrink. Let's go to the next one advance shrink and there's a second option available if you want to move to a new line you see this option turn it off stays in there if we want to move it to a new line we do it that way that is how you shrink here in this section now there's another way that we can do this so let's head on over to the form designer scroll down into advanced designer so let's open this one and this will open up the theme designer in this section we can view the options also to edit the rows and add more rows. Now it's important that in, in order to enable this option, for example, form layout, enable form columns. This is only available if we previously added one of the shrinked rows on the form. Okay. So now let's edit this right here and we can edit the number of rows that we'd like to view right here. You see how it automatically added the element and they just switched to the new one, add another row. And now we have four, columns in one single row and this is how you insert two or more rows in your job form we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials